I'm Stephanie Alexander. Um, I'm from Alexandria, Egypt, and I was born on December 15th, 1999. When did your family immigrate and why did they immigrate to Canada? So my parents immigrated because they wanted a better education and like a better um, place for my sister and I to grow up. They basically didn't want us growing up in Egypt because it's not exactly safe for parents with daughters. So they just kind of like wanted to take us out of that environment and put us somewhere where they knew we would be safe, where they knew we'd get like a good education, where we wouldn't be discriminated against for our religion or for being female. So why Canada? Why Toronto? Funny story. We were originally supposed to move to BC, but we have family in Ontario and my parents were like, oh, we want you to grow up with your cousins the way that we did. And we ended up settling in Toronto because um, there was a really big Egyptian population. So we kind of like gravitated towards where there was a church, where there was a sense of community. And yeah, like we ended up settling here. So what is your impression of the city? In 2007, it was very white. When we first moved here, it was very pure and it was kind of weird. And then like over the years, um, it became like more and more multicultural, started feeling a lot more like home. Like in 2007, it was like, oh, this isn't Alexandria. Like this isn't, this isn't what I grew up with. So I grew up across the street from the ocean. I like across the sea, the street from the sea, like I had water right there, um, We would go swimming after school some days. And, like, not having that was kind of really jarring, especially for a seven-year-old. The comparison is, like, the Red Sea to Lake Ontario. Mm -hmm. It's it's freezing. Like, and it's, it's not somewhere you can go swimming very often without being very, like, acclimated to the cold. And then... Like, the sea is really warm, it's salty, it's not fresh water, and mm-hmm. I just really miss that. What was it like settling in a new city? What kind of struggles or challenges did you face? So, originally, um, I'd struggled with English a lot because it's technically my first language. Sandra and I don't have first languages because we learned um, English, French, and Arabic at the same time because we went to a multilingual school in Egypt and our parents decided to like teach us both English and French while we grew up. Yeah, because of that it was kind of like really weird to switch from predominantly French to predominantly English when speaking to people. English was like really weird experience. It's written like French but it sounds completely different. Like, I was more familiar with French when we first moved here. So um, the switch in language when people are very predominantly English speaking and um, French in Ontario is treated very, I don't know. It, it's very like people don't like hearing French in Ontario for some reason, even though we are a bilingual province, like especially in Toronto. Um, I started out going to elementary school in the city and people were very, like, even the French immersion kids were very, like, unwilling to speak French. So, yeah, odd experience. Um, other than that, like, settling in was pretty easy. We are, like, we're big city people. We're very used to, like, the busy, crowded city. Although, like, technically speaking, Toronto's very, um, sparsely populated in comparison to Alexandria. Like, Alexandria is very, very busy. Getting hit while jaywalking is uh, a lot more of a possibility there than it is here. Do you maintain relations or connections with Egypt? Do you have family there? Do you send money to your family? Yeah, we do maintain relationships with people in Egypt. We have a lot of family there. So we, um, we're calling my grandparents every other day. We talk to basically the entire um side of the family that's still there pretty regularly um i don't know about sending money i do know we donate very frequently through the church to um what's the organization called 
The one that provides food in um, the poorer areas. But yeah, like we donate very frequently through the church. Um, yeah, we didn't just cut Egypt off once we moved here. Mm-hmm. Um, were there any associations or institutions that you helped you settle in? So you kind of spoke to the church. Can you explain more of that experience? Yeah. So when we first moved here, the church programming for kids was very frequent. There was, I think, twice a week that kids would um, come to the church and do, like, lessons. They would socialize. We'd hang out um, in the church. And I think that was very preferred by a lot of, like, families in the area because it allowed your kids to, like, hang out together in a safe space that... Mm -hmm also gave them like spiritual enrichment overall it was a decent experience like it was a cool practice in like getting kids acclimated to each other and um, creating a sense of community in the next generation and then uh yeah like I was a little kid when we moved here so I was um in elementary school for almost the entirety of like the first couple of years and being in elementary school, like, forces you to assimilate, I want to say. Like, it forces you to um, adopt the culture. It forces you to, um, like, get in on jokes. Because elementary school kids are, like, really, really mean. What do you keep from your home country? Do you still know the language? Any special customs, foods, mannerisms, and other things like that that you still have? Um, I feel like nothing has changed from moving to Egypt to moving to Canada, like from living in Egypt to moving to Canada. Not much has changed. Um, We still cook all the same foods. We still speak the same language. We, I think the entire household still speaks like good enough Arabic. Mm -hmm. Um, We celebrate the exact same holidays because we're also, we're not just like ethnically Christian, we're culturally Coptic. Mm -hmm. which also includes a whole lot of like traditions that we keep we also celebrate like we celebrate christmas differently than the um regular christmas we celebrate on the 7th according to the old calendar um the date of easter for us is often different from catholic easter we have a completely different regimen for lent it's yeah like there are a lot of things that you just end up keeping because there's i want to say there's no other option but not really like that it's more like your community keeps it going um any special foods that you like to eat (laughs) um yeah well like we eat everything with rice like almost everything (laughs) um but honestly i think one of my favorite dishes is um it's a dessert Mm -hmm. i have a notorious sweet tooth i love um i love kunefa the stuff i love kunefa it's so good Mm -hmm. and how is your life now compared to when you first arrived Uh, i want to say completely different um first of all i was like seven when we first got here Mm -hmm. so i went from like being a little kid to being in university like I'm finishing university next semester basically I'm just growing in a lot more quickly than I thought I would I thought at seven years old like yeah at 21 I'm gonna be um super cool and I'm gonna be going out all the time and um (laughs) I'm gonna be like done university after going to school in a different country well, um, I did end up doing the school in a different country, but like that's because I moved mm-hmm. to a completely different country. Um, I don't end up going out, um, considering yeah. we're in the middle of a global pandemic. And I'm a bit of a homebody, which I didn't expect. We originally lived in an apartment and now we moved to a significantly larger than expected house. Mm-hmm. Um like I originally thought like oh maybe a cute little bungalow with a nice garden 
No, no, we live in like one of those cookie cutter neighborhoods. It's super cute. I love it. What does Egypt mean to you? Egypt is roots to me. It's not, it's like origins. It's not, um, it's not like a foreign place that I'm related to by blood. It's some place that I grew out of. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like that's it.